you would think that being on book two for six years, I would know to turn on my microphone, but I filmed this whole video, and at the end, I realized that I didn't have the microphone on, so enjoy this voiceover of me. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It is my six-year anniversary on BookTube today, and so, as tradition, I usually bake something and do a tag. Um, I did do the BookTube oldie tag. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to include that in here. I think I'm just going to do this whole video as without a recipe, and I'll do that tag at another time when I actually have my microphone on. Anyway, today I am doing without a recipe quarantine edition um, for my booktube anniversary. Um, so I am baking a Funfetti cake without the recipe. I have covered the measurements, and I know all the ingredients and this is how it went. I think it went pretty well, but I hope you enjoy. Um, I love these kind of videos. I decided to attempt it myself just to test my confidence because I'm pretty confident in my baking abilities. And so here is the video. I'm going to do some voiceover throughout, but I hope you enjoy it. Happy anniversary to me. Thank you if you subscribed throughout my whole six years on BookTube. Let's go. I gathered all my ingredients and I got started with the recipe. I got my round pan, which I never use, um, so I was a little hesitant to use this, but honestly, I think it worked out pretty well. This also called for sour cream, which I've never used before, so I decided that I would give myself two peaks. So I did end up peeking at the recipe just to make sure that I wasn't fucking up. So here I started putting in the flour. I only put in a cup of flour because the ingredients just said cup. So I just went off of what that said. And you can also see me in this clip getting really irritated because some guy decided to start mowing his lawn as soon as I started doing this. And it was just so annoying. So because I didn't have the recipe, I just went off of what I knew, which was to put the dry together and then put the wet together in separate bowls. So I put in a cup of sugar i should not have done that because as you see now the recipe called for three fourth cup of sugar oh no oh no it's it's fine it's fine but i shouldn't have done that at all Now, here's an accomplishment. I ended up putting two teaspoons of baking powder into the cake mix, and that was correct. So, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, <laughs> applause. Applause. So, the uh, dry ingredients were finished, so they were going into the mixer. That's why I was, like, pointing to the mixer. Um, so, I was finished that, and now on to the wet ingredients. <laughs> which I think I did pretty good with. Um, it's just one egg. And then I cut to a clip of me stressing out because it said oil and I didn't know how much oil. So I was going to use my first peak. Um, I used my second peak for the sour cream because I've never used it before and I did not want to fuck that up at all. Um, and that was just to make the cake more moist. Um, and so, yeah, here's me stressing out and then using my peak. Then, because what else could go wrong, I lost my egg. It was just one egg. I just had one job to find my egg. I couldn't find it. It ended up being right behind the cake pan and everything. Yeah, there we go. Found it. Um, And a great crack is coming up right here. Yes, no uh, shell. And it was great. That is like baking goals is to not get the eggshell into your bowl. And then I wash my hands because we're social distancing and 20 seconds washing your hands. Here I put in the oil. I had to put in a fourth cup of oil. Um, I used canola oil because that's what the recipe said and that's what I had. So that was my peak because I did not want to screw that part up. 
So here's me looking at the recipe and just wait to see my face because that was when I realized that I did not use the correct amount of sugar. I accidentally looked at oh no. So I had to double check that I didn't put too much oil in and guess who put too much oil? Thank goodness that I looked because I could have put in too much and that would have just been a disaster. So good on me for that. Here we go. Next the recipe called for buttermilk. I put in a half cup because when I used it for my previous recipe, I just made like cupcakes like yesterday for Cinco de Mayo and I used buttermilk. And so I just used a half cup because that was what was safe. And I'm going to call this part of the video the winner circle because I got this correctly. And next I put in two teaspoons of vanilla, which was also correct in the recipe. And that is what I have going for me at the moment. Now we're over the mixer and I'm putting in the sour cream. It called for one third cup. And so I just squeezed that bad boy into my measuring cup and that's basically what i did <laughs> so for the rest of this i just had the mixer do the job i put the dry ingredients in then put the all wet and then at the end i put in the sprinkles and i got me a funfetti cake when i saw the actual result I was so happy because it just looked like cake batter and that is exactly what I was hoping for. Last, I put the batter into my circular cake pan. I was a little scared because look, this is what it looked like that was smaller and then I just grabbed the bigger one. So I was just a little worried that the batter just didn't look right. Sometimes when you just don't have the recipe, you're like, did I even do this right? I have no idea. Um, but honestly, I think it looked fine. I think I was just overthinking it. And then as it was baking, I just looked up what I did wrong. And honestly, the sugar was the only part that I really screwed up. Um, but after I couldn't even remember what I did. So this voiceover, I think it helps me and it helps you. Um, I ended up using, um, like it said, like a half cup of sprinkles. I just used whatever I had left and I emptied it. So see, I'm showing you, I just had like a little bit left. So I just used that and honestly, <laughs> I think I did pretty good. And friends, here is the reveal of my cake. I think it looks good. It looks like a cake. Um, at this point, I think I just kept it in for like a little bit more because it wasn't uh, ready yet because in the middle it just was sinking and we just don't like that when that happens to a cake so I just waited a little bit longer my oven is weird so I needed to put it in longer regardless here is the final reveal let me know in the comments what you think about the cake I think it looks good and it looks like a cake and I can't wait for you to actually see what it looks like iced and everything it looks great and I'm proud of it so cut to me icing the cake and the final final reveal not to flex on you guys or anything but i did make my own buttercream from the same recipe without the recipe but i did make my own frosting vanilla buttercream and here is how it went i think it went pretty well um i put in a cup and a half of powdered sugar um, the recipe called for two, and then I was just gonna see what I thought. I don't really make frosting because it is scary, um, but this one turned out pretty good. So this is what my buttercream ended up looking like and then I just frosted the cake, put on some sprinkles, and I drew on a 6 
for my six year anniversary on booktube. All right, my camera's dying, so I'm gonna try the cake and do the outro. It looks a little dense, um, but the frosting actually worked out really well. So let's just see. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's not my best cake I've ever made, but it's a cake. It's edible. Um, I think I put in too much sugar, but... I don't know, the cake just kind of tastes weird. But it's still like a good cake. I think I did pretty good. <laughs> Overall, it's a cake. I think it's pretty good. I know I put in too much sugar, but it's fine. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Sorry that I had to do a voiceover and this wasn't like my regular videos, but I kind of had to make do of what I had. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I have a couple of videos that I have in the edits and I want to film. So I will see you guys next time. Also for the months of April and May, half of the revenue that I receive through Patreon is going to be donated to a charity of our choice. So if you would like to become a patron, it is only a dollar and everything counts. I will be posting which one we choose if you would like to donate to them instead of becoming a patron. Check my Twitter and all of my social media and I'll try and talk about it in my next video. But for now, I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe. I will see you guys next time. Happy anniversary to me. Bye.